Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my go-to makeup look. Go ahead and thumbs up this video. Make sure you are subscribed to join the Vanessa Monet family. And let's go ahead and get into the glam. Also, I have the eyebrows on and I did kind of go ahead and pin my hair up a little bit. It's falling down, okay? I'm just brushing up my brows right now because I did them a little heavy because I'm using this Benefit Goof proof brow pencil and this one is in the shade 5 so it's actually very darker than what I'm usually used to. I'm going to take some of my Anastasia brow gel and I'm going to just place this on my brows just so that they'll stick you know because my brows do not stick sometimes but this kind of holds on holds them in place so that they last all day long. I did a little makeup shopping and I picked up this primer again and I have talked about this primer on my channel before. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I mean it feels wonderful on the skin. You do have to let your primer kind of sit on your skin for just a little bit so it can kind of do its magic if that makes sense and then go in with your complexion product. If you guys can't tell already I'm using a different lens. This is the Sigma 35 millimeter lens. It's actually a really great lens I used it for my recent Instagram reel and it, was, it came out so well I'm so impressed by it I just rented it from this place here in Houston called photo rental source and I rented it for the weekend to just shoot some content with my friend Sheree and so also you know just to shoot some stuff I'm gonna go take some pictures with my friend tomorrow just to kind of give my Instagram feed a little bit more than just makeup and follow me on Instagram right now all you'll see is makeup post and I kind of want to diversify myself a little bit. There's more to me than just makeup. So this is the Morphe Soft Focus Foundation. I've talked about this a lot and this one is in the shade Tan 23. And this is a medium to full coverage foundation. It can cover up those burns that I have on my forehead from curling it. I just, I'm so like ashamed of myself. Once you get older, you should know by now not to burn yourself. I love learning about cameras and learning how to use them and just different settings and stuff like that. So that's why you guys always see me like moving my setup around or just trying different stuff here and there because I'm just always trying to improve, if that makes sense. So I'm using the Morphe Concealer in C355. I'll leave it in the description box below. I'm going to use this as my under eye concealer. I should have went like maybe a hair lighter because I do like that highlighted look. And because this concealer is really, really pretty, I really want you guys to be able to see it. But I recently took some pictures using this concealer and I was in love you guys so I'm just applying a healthy amount to it I did kind of go ahead and just change the settings a little bit on my camera I changed the ISO from 100 to 400 and then I changed the white balance to auto because I was just looking a little bit darker than what I actually look like in real life that's the great thing about this lens you're able to really see yourself for how you look in real life I was noticing with my other camera I was looking a little bit more yellow and this concealer is so pretty, isn't it? It's like very hydrating, not too drying, but it still gives that full coverage. You know, look. I'm going to take a little bit of this Huda Beauty Blondie Powder under the eyes. Just to really set everything in place. If you have really oily skin, you really might like this, but my skin's really dry, so. I like to set my brows in place. And the reason why I do that is to make sure they stay even longer. And then to bronze up my skin, I'm going to use the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. And I would blush, but I feel like my cheeks are enough for what I'm trying to accomplish. So now I'm going to go into the eyes. I'm going to go back into that Warrior Palette, use that same color, and just kind of dust this into my crease. Put a little bit on the nose. I mean, I just like really brushed, airbrushed looking skin, and this to me really does it. And I know I keep looking over there, but it's because my monitor's there, and I just want to make sure I'm in focus and you guys can see me and stuff like that. Lately, I have been wearing brown liner. So this one is by Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Liner, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. See that really simple nothing too crazy but it just okay so these are on and they look very 
normal natural. This is the, probably the most natural I'll ever go. I'm just taking this a Stylish Glam highlighter to finish off the face because I am done. This is Radiant Artistry's Red in the shade Seduction. I love the Sephora Always Red and I'll just run it right across the top. Alright. Just liner and lipstick is the vibes that I'm on. Okay. I don't know, I just love the way curls look when you take them out and then like days later when they start to really fall and be pretty, you'll still feel glam. Okay, I need a comb so I can comb these out really quick. So yeah. So yeah, let me go ahead and get myself together real quick and I'll come back to close it out. Alright, so I went ahead and brushed out my curls for the girls, okay? And I went ahead and put on this little red shirt. It's nothing too serious, but I figured because spring is coming, that means the clothes are coming off, honey. And I don't care what size you are. Feel your best. Wear whatever you want. And that's what I'm doing right here. So, it's nothing. I really didn't curl my hair that much today. I kind of just threw a few curls in there and went but really if I take my time let me fix that because I'll be looking back at my video and like oh I should have combed that piece of my hair but I really want my curls to like, hit me you know all right so this is pretty much the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed it you did pull a few tips and tricks from this quick little situation I got going on I'm about to head out but before I do I just wanted to bring you guys this look Thumbs up this video if you haven't already. Make sure you are subscribed to join the Vanessa Monet family. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.